Hello everyone. أهلا بكم في تعلم الإنجليزي. Learn English. Today, new topic, new interest, something related to our lives. So today we're speaking about places in town. Let's take a look together and let's see in detail what we're going to learn about. So the first thing that we're learning about today is, as usual, vocabulary. And for our vocabulary today, we're going to speak about places in town. The second thing that we're looking at is grammar. And for grammar, we're going to see how we can give directions and how we can guide someone in our town. And we're looking at reading as well as a skill. So we're going to read some directions and see where the people would like to go. So let's start. As usual, we're going to start with our, yes, idioms of the day. So for idioms of the day, for those who are new or who don't remember, So, idioms of the day is basically when we speak about an expression that is not literally related to the meaning of the words. هو expression مش مرتبط بالمعنى الحرفي للكلمات بتاعته. Which we call them idioms. تعالوا مع بعض نبص على idioms بتاعتنا النهاردة. So, the first idiom that we have is called a ball in a china shop. So, All our idioms today are related to places. And the first place that we have today is the shop, the china shop. And the expression, a ball in a china shop, means somebody who's really clumsy. So a clumsy person is a person who doesn't know what he's doing. So if we have someone who's, will, who's walking really quickly or who moves really quickly and he drops things around, We can say a ball in a china shop. So I can say, or when I visit somebody and I drop something down, I can say, I'm sorry. I'm like a ball in a china shop, which means I'm so clumsy. So this is called a ball in a china shop. Or I can say, I always hit things and drop them down. I am like a ball in a china shop. أنا عامل زي البول in a china shop البول اللي هو التور so it's like a ball who went inside a china shop and breaks everything so it's called a ball in a china shop this is the first idiom the second idiom is that we have for today is called a paradise on earth a paradise on earth so a paradise on earth is We use it or we use this expression when we talk about a perfect place. So whenever we visit a place which is very beautiful or a place that is very good, we can say it's like a paradise on earth, which means the place, the place is very beautiful. So I can say my grandma's home is like a paradise on earth, which means my grandma's home is really, really beautiful. Or We visited a nice hotel in our last holiday. It was like a paradise on earth, or it was a paradise on earth, which means the hotel that we visited was really, really good. I can say I am in a very bad mood and I really want to go to a place like a paradise on earth, which means I want to visit a beautiful place. So this is the second idiom that is connected to places. So the first one, a ball in a china shop, And the second one is a paradise on earth. The third idiom that we have for today is in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, we usually use it to speak about a place which is very, very far or a place that doesn't have lots of shops around it or lots of places close to it. So I can say I went to my friend and her house was in the middle of nowhere, which means her house was very far away. Or I can say I was driving my car and suddenly I found myself in the middle of nowhere, which means I got lost and I was in a very far place. So in the middle of nowhere means in a very far place or in a place where you can't find things around you. So it's called in the middle of nowhere. So you can say, I don't want to buy a flat in the middle of nowhere, 
which means I don't want to buy a flat in a very, very far place. This is the third idiom that we have. And the last idiom that we have today, or the last proverb, to be specific, which is the proverb. The proverb is a wise saying that is used by old people or people who are older, and it's usually giving wise thoughts. So proverbs are related to the culture. So today we're going to look at this proverb which is called when in Rome, do as the Romans do. وأحياناً بنستخدم الإكسبرشن only of when in Rome without the rest وبيعبر عن نفس الحاجة وبنستخدمه كإيديوم فهو originally مثل so it's originally a proverb but we use part of it which is when in Rome as an idiom لوحده تعالوا نتكلم على meaning of the proverb and then how we can use the idiom so when in Rome do as the Romans do we use this proverb to speak about if you are in a place follow its rules and do the same thing like the people in this place. So this is the main meaning of this proverb. So when in Rome, do as the Romans do, follow the rules of the place that you visit. So when you travel to Rome, just do like the Romans, do like the people who live there. So this is the meaning of the proverb. When we use when in Rome alone, this means that, okay, just follow the lead of the people, just do like them, without being odd or different. For example, if I am talking about um, people who wake up early. So when you go on holiday, all people wake up early and you are the different one. So they start telling you when in Rome, which means it's a short period and you do this just similarly to the people you are with. So which means just follow them for a short period. So this is the expression of when in Rome as an expression just do like the people do for a very short period and that's it. Don't think about the lot. Or for example, when you go to a new school and you find all your friends do a lot of exercise and they tell you, when in Rome, like just follow the people and do like them. It's a very short time. So this is called when in Rome. And the whole proverb is called when in Rome, do as the Romans do, which means follow the rules of the place when you visit it. So these are the idioms that we had for today. So the first one that we had is a paradise on earth. And the second one that we have, yes, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, which means just be like the people. And the third one was, yes, exactly. The third one was in the middle of nowhere, when we speak about something that is very, very far away. And the last idiom was, a ball in a china shop, which means a person who's not thinking how he moves and he drops lots of things. We can call it Kalimna al idioms taitna, a hamil idioms murtabata will make So now let's look at our vocabulary and let's start with places in our town. So together, let's look at the most important vocabulary that can help me speak about my town and describe the places in my town. Let's take a look. So let's start now and take a look at the most important places that we can find in our city or our town. So to start with, we have a zoo, a zoo. So the zoo is the place where you can find the animals. It's called a zoo. And we also have shop. We shop is a very general word and it's usually a British word. The equivalent American word is the word store. So in the UK, they say shop. In America, they say store. So a shop or a store, they are the same, which any shop that you can buy anything from. We have a very general word. And we can make it more specific by adding what kind of shop. So we can say clothes shop, shoe shop. So we can put the type of shop with it, but shop in general is any place you can buy anything from. And we also have a school, a school. So this is the place where you can learn. And we have a cinema, a cinema, which is for fun and entertainment where you can watch films. 
and we have a playground or a park. The playground or park are two similar things where people can go just to ride their bikes or the playground has lots of items to play with, like it has swings and slides and stuff like that. So this is called the playground. And the other word for it is the park. And we have bakery, the bakery where you can buy bread. And we also have a museum, museum. The museum is where you can find or where you can see historical things. It's called a museum. And then we have a restaurant, a restaurant. So the restaurant is the place where you can eat. And we have a park, like we said, where you can ride your bike. The post office. The post office is a place where you can send mail, the old style mail or letters. And we have the fire station and sometimes we call it fire department. Both of them are El Motofi. So fire station, okay. Fire department, okay. We also have a bank, a bank. So the bank is where we can save our money. And we have a hospital, a hospital for people who are sick. And we have a police station, a police station. And make sure it's not police, it's p police, police. So a police station is Qasm al -Buris. And we have our home. This is part of any town where you have your home. We also have a stadium, a stadium where you can watch matches or where you can play matches as well. And we have the butchers, the butchers. This is the place for you to buy meat or chicken. So it's the same in English. So it works for meat and for chicken as well. It's called the butchers. And we have the sweet shop and some people call it the candy shop where you can buy sweets and candy. And the chemist, the chemist. The chemist is sometimes called the pharmacy. So British people call it chemist. Americans call it pharmacy is where you can buy medicine, which is Saidali. So we can call it chemist. We can call it drugstore and we can call it pharmacy. The three of them are okay, which is the same for buying medicine. It's called chemist, pharmacy or drugstore. And we have a swimming pool. A swimming pool so the swimming pool is where you can have fun and swim and the point is if we're talking about the English culture they don't have the concept of club so the idea of we're going to the club is not very familiar in there they have a park they have swimming pool but they don't have clubs because clubs are usually related to dancing more than sports and swimming and stuff like that so they usually have swimming pool alone and they have a park alone and we have a library, a library, and this is the place where you can read books. Don't buy, we don't buy from the library, we just read. And here we have the important part. We have something called market and something called supermarket, something called hypermarket and the department store. دي حاجة من الحاجات اللي confusing شوية اللي بتلخبطنا كلنا, which is إيه الفرق ما بين الماركت والسوبرماركت والهايبرماركت والديبارتمنت ستور تعالوا مع بعض نفكر فيها كماركت دايما بيجي في دماغنا اللي هو الميني ماركت الشوب الصغير اللي تحت البيت وده مسكونسبشن سو بيسكلي وين وي سبيك اباوت ماركت ماركت از ان اوبن بليس وير بيبل سيت اند سيل ذير ثينجز اللي هو بالمعنى العربي سوق سو ذا ماركت از نوت ا شوب the market is an open area where you can go shopping. It might have shops and it might have people sitting in the street. So market is not a shop. So the market is a zoo. And the second one is the supermarket. Supermarket is a shop. 
where you can buy food and you can buy cleaning gadget and you can buy candy, stuff like that. So this is a supermarket. And then comes a bigger size and the modern version, which is a hypermarket. Hypermarket is a place where you can buy everything, literally everything. So if you would like to buy electronics, yes, you can. You can buy electronics from hypermarket. Food, yes, you can buy food from hypermarket. Books, books from hypermarket. Furniture from hypermarket. So you can buy anything from hypermarket. So the supermarket only for food and cleaning gadget, but the hypermarket is for everything. Unlike the department store. Department store is basically a place. It has different departments inside, either all related to the same idea or different ideas. What do we mean by that? Let's imagine a big shop for clothes. And inside this shop, you have department for women, and department for men, and department for shoes, and department for socks, and department for kids. The whole idea is for clothes. So this is called a department store, a store that has different departments for clothes, for example. So it's the same thing with different department, clothes. And we have another department store that has different departments for lots of things that are not the same. يعني هو مش clothes بس. I can have a department store that can sell furniture in a department, that can sell presents in another department, that can sell clothes for men, clothes for women in another department, and it can sell electronics as well. يبقى department store ممكن يبقى يبيع حاجة واحدة بس زي clothes بس. ومن جوه departments متقسمة ل males, females, and kids, and stuff like that. Or it can be a department store for everything, but it does not sell food. So department stores are different from hypermarket in the idea of selling food. So you can't go to a, a department store to buy a chicken, for example. So this is not normal. So normally you go to hypermarket to buy food, but department store, you can buy lots of stuff, yes, but it doesn't include food and you can't buy everything. يبقى احنا كده عندنا four different things that are similar and that's why they cause confusion. Market, سوق, supermarket, اللي هو supermarket او المحل اللي احنا ممكن نشتري منه حاجات, hypermarket, which is very big and you can buy everything from it, and a department store, which is divided into departments, Every department is for something. متقسم لأقسام من جوه. So these are the most important places that we might find in our city or our town. خلينا نعمل practice على ده ونشوف إزاي ممكن نستخدمهم في جمل. We have talked about the most important places that we can find in our towns. So let's take a look and let's start our practice. Let's start here. We have this person and he's saying, that book is not interesting. I want to read another book. Where can this person go? Can we give him advice? So where do you think a person can go to read a book? Okay, exactly. So. He can go to the library. So you should go to the library. So here we need to differentiate between different concepts. And عندي library is where I can read books. وعشان كده أنا بهايلايت the idea of read. So what if I want to buy another book? It's not read, it's buy. Remember the idea of shop? فاكرين لما قلنا shop? So we can go to the bookshop. يبقى أنا عندي two different things. A place to read and a place to buy. So if I would like to read, I go to the library. But if I would like to buy a book, I can go to the bookshop. Okay, and let's look at the gentleman here. I need to ask something to my teacher. He would like to, to ask his teacher a question. Where do you think he should go? So let's give him advice. Where is the best place to find your teacher? Exactly. So the place to find the teacher is in the 
Yes, this place is called school. So as advice, we can tell him, you should go to school. If you would like to ask your teacher a question, go to school. So the place is school. Oh, thief, thief, he stole my purse. So this woman has a problem that this thief stole her purse. So where do you think she should go or what do you think she should do? Give her advice. So when somebody steals something, we go to the police station. So you should go to the police station. You should go to the police station because we have a thief to report the problem. I need to wash my clothes. I need to wash my clothes. So in this case, where this person should go? Where do you think he should go? Okay, so basically, if I want to wash my clothes, I can go home or I can wash them home. And the other idea, we have a shop where I can send them my clothes. They wash it and send it back. So this is called the laundry or the laundromat. So here, we can give him advice and we can say, you should go to the laundry. So laundry or laundromat is the shop or the place where you send your clothes and they get cleaned and they come back to you. The difference between them and the dry clean is that sometimes in America or the UK, the laundry is open for people. بمعنى إن هو مكان محطوط فيه غسلات وأنا بنفسي اللي بروح أغسل غسيلي فيه. So it's called the laundry or the laundromat. So it's different in their culture than our culture. For ثقافتهم, the concept of laundry is different. So in in our culture, laundry, I send my clothes, they wash it and send it back. But in the British or the American culture, the laundromat or the laundry, I take my clothes and I go wash it and go back home. So this is a place where they have washing machines only. They don't wash anything for you. You wash it yourself. It's called the laundry or the laundromat. Okay, help, my house is on fire. What do you think this person should do? What's the best place in town that can help him? So, if we have a house which is on fire, we need, yes. So, you should call the fire department or the fire station like we said earlier. So the fire department or fire station can help with the fire. Let's look at the next one. Where can we find a swing? Where can these kids have fun and play with the swing? What's the best place to go to? Yes, so the advice is you should go to the playground or you should go to the park. Both ideas would be okay. So we can give them advice like we should go to the playground or park more or less the same. Okay, بكده نبقى اتكلمنا على اهم places الموجودة عندي في التاون. تعالوا مع بعض نشوف لو انا عندي حد محتاجة ديرو directions. ازاي ممكن اعمل ده? First of all خلينا نفهم يعني ايه giving directions. Giving directions لو انا عندي حد lost. So in this case هو بيبقى محتاج help. خلينا نتخيل ان احنا رايحين مكان جديد وغريب علينا المكان ده انا مش عارفه كويس فطبيعي ما اعرفش ايه الحاجات الموجوده فيه وطبيعي ما اعرفش اتحرك فيه براحتي so in this case we need to look at this so this is what's going to help us this is called a map a map so whenever we need to give directions or whenever we need to check directions what can help us is a map Okay, طيب بالنسبة للماب دي when we look at this map any map has different places so let's look at this map and see what are the important places on the map so here we have a police station we have high school we have a library hospital barber shop the barber shop is the shop where men go to to cut their hair it's called a barber shop. So this is especially for men and they go there to have their hair cut. And we have sports center. Sports center, 
grocery store. This is the place where you can buy food, vegetables. We have shopping center, a shopping center, which is similar to the idea of a mall. So we have shopping center, which is more or less the same like a mall. And we have a bank, drugstore. Remember when we said chemists, drugstore and pharmacy are the same. So here we have drugstore. We have a cafe and we have a shoe shop. Deal places. الحاجات دي بنقول عليها the landmarks of the map. The important places on the map, we call them the landmarks. And on the map, we have streets. So we have First Avenue. We have this street here, which is First Avenue. And we have Second Avenue, which is this street here. And we have Pine Street, Pine Street. Pine Street, which is the big street in the middle. And now we're going to see if I am going to give directions, how I can give directions. First of all, لما هاجي أدي directions, اللي بيسأل على directions ده بيبقى عايز حاجة من الاتنين. يا إما عايز يعرف إزاي يوصل للمكان، يا إما عايز يعرف هو المكان ده فين بالظبط. So we have two different ideas that we need when we give directions. The first idea is where, and the second idea is how can I get. يبقى أنا عندي فكرتين مختلفين. الفكرتين بيساعدوني إن أنا أوصل للمكان. The first is where. Where ده يعني بسأل هو فين. For in this case, when I say where, I need to say the location of it related to all these landmarks. And when I say, how can I get there? لو هسأل إزاي أوصل هناك؟ أنا محتاج أدي detailed description أمشي إزاي؟ يعني هتحرك فين أو هتحرك إزاي؟ So, let's start and look at the idea of where. So, first of all, if I want to say, where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? لما هاجي أتكلم على hospital, أنا هبدأ أوصف مكانها related to places around it لل landmarks الموجودة يا إما هتكلم على ال landmarks كستريت نفسه هقول هي في أنهي شارع يا إما هتكلم على الأماكن اللي حواليها أو الأماكن الموجودة المشهورة جنبها so to speak about the hospital so we can say the hospital is on Pine Street the hospital is on Pine Street So, if I say, where is the police station? Where is the police station? It is the same idea. Same street. So, the police station is on Pine Street as well. يبقى on a street اللي هو مكانه في الشارع. So, it's on Pine Street. يبقى أنا ببص على اسم الشارع وبقول, it's on مش in. So, when we give the name of the street, We don't say in, we say on. So the hospital is on Pine Street. The police station is on Pine Street. طيب تعالوا نبص على مكان زي ال barber shop. ال barber shop موجودة هو. For the question is, هو بقى على أنهي street? هو على Second Avenue ولا Pine Street? ما هي موجودة في النص هي. Second Avenue okay, Pine Street okay. So in this case, we don't say on. We say on the corner of. وبقول اسم الشرعين. So if we're talking about the barber shop, the barber shop is on the corner of Pine Street and Second Avenue. Or if we speak about the grocery store, the grocery store is on the corner of First Avenue. And Pine Street. So, on, I'm talking about one street only, and the place is in the middle of the street. On the corner of, the place is taking two names of two streets. So, it's between two streets. Between this and this. So, on the corner of. Type. So, if we're talking about 
the bank, for example, if we're talking about the bank, two streets or one street? The bank, one street only, which is Pine Street. So in this case, we can say the bank is on Pine Street. Type a place like, um, let's say, the library. The library, one street or two streets? We have a street here for the library and we have a street here for the library. So two, this is on the corner of. So the library is on the corner of Pine Street and First Avenue. يبقى أنا كده لو هي أتكلم على الأماكن بالنسبة للشوارع لو هوصف المكان هو فين في الشارع we have one of two options either on or on the corner of يبقى دي كده الكلمتين اللي ممكن يساعدوني the question كمان مرة where is so the question here where I give the place so we can also describe where the place is related to famous places around what do you mean by this? أنا عندي الهوسبيتال أهي. أنا مش هقول أسامي شوارع لأن أنا I'm not familiar بال streets. أنا مش عارفة اسم الشارع. بس أنا عارفة كويس إن جنبيها barber shop وجنبيها library. So in this case, we can use our prepositions اللي إحنا اتكلمنا عنها قبل كده وذكرناها مع بعض. So we can use prepositions here to speak about the connection between the place and the famous ones. So we can say the hospital is between the barber shop and the library. ما قلتش أي أسماء شوارع أنا بس اتكلمت هو نجم بإيه أو ما بين إيه من الحاجات المشهورة حوالي. So we can say the name of the street or we can say the landmarks, the important places around it. So here, if we speak about where is the barber shop, of course, I can say it's on the corner of 2nd Avenue on Pine Street, or I can say the barber shop is next to, the barber shop is next to the hospital. The barber shop is next to the hospital. So we use the prepositions that we studied before. عشان نبدأ نوصف هو فين بالنسبة للأماكن المشهورة. Okay, so still talking about the barber shop. So the barber shop is next to the hospital and across from the drugstore it's across from the drugstore لما هقول across from معناها ان في شارع في النص وانا بعدي فانا عندي two different ideas عندي the idea of in front of ده قدام حاجة والاثنين على نفس الناحية or across from الناحية التانية which means I cross the street to go to the other side تعالوا نشوفها فعليا على الماب عندنا هنا so, you see the bank here, and we have the shopping center. The shopping center is in front of the bank. The shopping center is in front of the bank. The على نفس الناحية على نفس الرصيف بس the shopping center قدام البنك. But if we're talking about the hospital, the hospital is across from the shopping center, which means we have a street in the middle. يبقى بكده. عندي كلمات زي between, next to, across from, opposite to. So all these words, can, we can use them to describe the places that we have in our city. So again, these are all answering the same exact question, which is, where is? Where is? I say either the name of the street or I describe the famous places connected لو أنا مش عارف أسماء الشوارع. So let's practice on that and let me ask where is the shoe shop? Where is the shoe shop? Here we have a lot of options. Option number one we can describe it for the streets so we can say it's on Pine Street. Done. Or it's for the cafe it's next to the cafe. Or it's across from the sports center. على حسب أنا إيه اللي أنا عارفه فيهم وإيه أشهر حاجة فيهم I can use. So this is how we answer the question of where is something. عندي question تاني which is how can I get there. يعني أنا على سبيل المثال for example لو أنا here I am in the police station and I would like to go 
here to the shoe shop. In this case, I can ask, how can I get to the shoe shop? Or, first of all, I can say, where is the shoe shop? اللي قدامي ممكن يرد عليا ويقول لي next to the cafe طب ما انا مش عارف فين الكافيه انا عايز اعرف اوصل ازاي so to ask about this idea of arriving i can say how do i get there so where is the shoe shop it's next to the cafe so how can i get there في الحاله دي انا محتاج ان انا ادي detailed directions هدي هوصف بالتفصيل امشي ازاي تعالوا مع بعض نشوف لو هدي detailed directions هنعملها ازاي So one of the important things that we need to use is how to give directions with using detailed description of the place. طيب انا دلوقتي لو عايزه ادي directions احنا قلنا ان انا بجاوب على سؤال مهم جدا اللي هو سؤال ايه اللي انا بجاوب عليه؟ How do I get to a place? يبقى انا عندي two different questions الاولاني where is اتكلمنا عنه already and now we're going to look at how can I get to or how can I get there? يبقى انا الكويستشن بتاعي how can I get there? وممكن بدل there دي هقول how can I get to and I say the name of the place. So how can I get to the bank? How can I get to the police office or the police station? How can I get to the fire station? So how can I get to a place or how can I get there? So this or that. يبقى هنا ممكن يبقى to place أو there من غير to. يبقى to بالنسبة لي هي optional. لو هقول الاسم بتاع place هحطها. لو مش هقول الاسم بتاع place هقول there لوحدة. Okay. طيب. أنا دلوقتي بقول how can I get there. يبقى أنا هبدأ أدي directions. هبدأ أدي وصف. أنا المفروض أعمل إيه. Okay. أول حاجة خالص في الوصف عندي هي the very important statement is go straight. So the idea of go straight اللي هو أنا ماشي على طول وما بحوتش. Okay. So go straight. ده أنا بدأت أدي الدايركشن بتاعي امشي على طول. لما أبدأ أجي أدي دايركشنز أنا عندي في كلمات مهمة اللي هي بنقول عليها الباوزز أو الترانزيشنز. يعني أنا لو هحول من دايركشن للتاني المفروض هقول إيه؟ So it's go straight وعندي كام كلمة كده هنبدأ نستخدمهم عشان يساعدوني. عندي أول حاجة كلمة then وعندي كلمة after that وعندي كلمة till you find so I can say go straight then لما هقول then معناه ان انا هوقف الدركشن ده وهختار دركشن تاني او go straight after that هي نفس الفكرة بتاعتي اللي هي هحول الدايركشن بتاعي أو go straight till you find لغاية ما تلاقي حاجة معينة وبعديها هنبدأ نغير direction فأنا دلوقتي بالنسبة لي لو أنا هدي detailed directions I can say go straight till you find the hospital وبعد كده هستخدم حاجة من expression بتاعتي turn فأنا عندي تاني حاجة هستخدمها لما هاجي أدي direction كلمة turn وترن دي أنا عندي two options I can either turn right or turn left يبقى أنا عندي دلوقتي لو أنا هدي directions أو لو هبدأ أوصف عندي إزاي شخص ممكن يوصل لمكان so I can say go straight till you find the hospital then turn right or go straight then take the first left. So the third word that we can use is take. Take دي معناها ادخل جوه شارع معين أو enter the street. So in this case we say take. So I can say go straight and then take the second left. ده معناها هنفوت أول شارع و 
وندخل في تاني شارع so take when I speak about entering the street so we have different options to give directions so the first thing go straight or turn take كل دي حاجات ممكن تساعدني بس المهم في النص بتاعها او المهم في وسطها ان انا استخدم الترانزيشنز الموجودة دي عشان تساعدني ان انا اعرف الشخص ان انا هتنقل من direction لdirection تاني ان انا بغير الاتجاه بتاعي من اتجاه لاتجاه اخر so these words are like yes a route map so it's helping the person in front of me to know that what's coming after is a different direction so I can say go straight till you find Pine Street and then turn left so في الدirections بتاعتي I can use حاجة من الاثنين either the names of the streets or the landmarks that we have ده أو ده الاثنين بينفعوني لما أجي أبدأ الدirections بتاعتي يبقى أنا لما هاجي هقول الدirections هستخدم أسامي ال streets وهستخدم أسامي ال landmarks مع ال description الموجود عندي ده يبقى أنا محتاج ال description ده مع الحاجات المشهورة أو ال landmarks اللي عندي so these are all answering the same question which is how can I get يبقى أنا عندي two different things two different ideas where اللي أنا هبدأ أقول في اللاند ماركس بتاعتي اللي إحنا قلنا البريبوزيشنز and how can I get ده معناه إن أنا عايز ديتيل ديسكريبشن إن أنا محتاج وصف تفصيلي أوصل هناك إزاي like when we open our GPS and in the GPS we can find these statements from the GPS the GPS is telling us these statements so to help us or to guide us exactly to the place so these are called directions the other one is description of a place يبقى دي directions بتاعتي تعالوا مع بعض نشوف directions دي لو على map ممكن تساعدني ان انا اوصل لمكان ازاي we have looked at detailed description of directions so we have seen how we can give detailed direction or how we can give detailed description to a place like when we said here on our map if I would like to go from the shoe shop to the police station so in this case لو هنستخدم نفس الحاجات اللي احنا كنا بنتكلم عليها دلوقتي حالا I can say go straight until you find first avenue and then you will find the police station on the left or if I am here I can say go straight until you find Pine Street then turn left then or after that go straight again يبقى أنا ممكن أستخدم الدirections دي عشان أوضح إزاي الشخص هيمشي قدامي تعالوا نبص على شوية expressions تانية أو some more expressions that can help me speak about places and directions as well so the first thing or the first expression that we can speak about is like we said where is so where is the pharmacy خلينا نشوف فين pharmacy exactly where exactly the pharmacy is so this is the pharmacy and I don't know the names of the streets so in this case I have the expression which is it's around the corner it's around the corner هي نفس فكرة ال corner بس instead of saying on the corner of street and another street we can say it's around the corner it's around the corner so the expression that can help me now is it's around the corner let's look at another expression that can help me where is the shoe store where is the shoe store خلينا نبص على three expressions دي and see which one can be more helpful for me there is one on the right it's down the street or it's down the street on the left so the expression that can help me is it's down the street on the left down the street which means in the end of the street so one of the expressions that can help me is down the street which means in the end of any street and then we can give extra detail on the right or on the left يبقى احنا كده عندنا around the corner and down the street these are two expressions that can help me give extra detail and describe specifically what a person should do we also have 
how do I get or how do I get to the hospital? How do I get to the hospital? So here we have three different directions. أنا دلوقتي مش بتكلم على landmarks. أنا بتكلم على detailed direction. So let's read the directions here and see which one is the most accurate. Go straight and turn right, or go straight. It's on the left, or it's on the right. So which one here can help me speak about this? So for all of them, we need to use go straight exactly. So because it's here, so it's go straight. It's on the left. It's on the right. مش هينفع لأن هو عايز detailed description. لأن بيسأل how do I get to the hospital? And here, is there a bank near here? Is there a bank near here? So this is another thing that we can use something near here. So I can ask or I can use any place and I can say near here. Is there a restaurant near here? Is there a bank near here? So these expressions can be used to ask if I don't know whether there is this place or not. So let's look at the answers and see which one is most suitable. Homo afin hena, and we have the bank on the other side. It's on the left. Yes, there is. It's across the street or down street. Down street only in the end of the street, so it doesn't work. And it's on the left. This is not on the left, so the left option is yes. There is. It's across the street, and across which means on the other side. We need to cross the street to go there. خلينا نشوف اللي بعديها. What's there across the street? What's there across the street? The place ده اسمه إيه? Do you remember? So, no, there isn't. هل ده الرد المناسب للquestion ده? Or there is a bus station? Or there is a bus stop? So here, this is the bus stop. So we can say there is a bus stop. تعالوا نشوف آخر حاجة خالص هنعملها النهاردة which is we're going to read detailed directions and we're going to guess where would the person like to go. تعالوا نقرأ مع بعض reading تعالى. So this is the detailed directions. Go straight ahead on Oak Street. Turn left on the corner of New Street. It's on the left opposite to the museum and the barber. تعالوا familiarize ourselves with the map. So we can know where exactly this person want to go. And عندي هنا the cinema, post office, market, hospital, hotel, police station, travel agency, school, sports center, tower, bank and cafe, fire station, airport, barber, museum. And this is Oak Street. And this is Hill Road, New Street. Grand Street. يبقى دي أهم الحاجات اللي موجودة على الماب اللي هتساعدني. So it's asking him to go straight ahead on Oak Street. هو واقف هو. Go straight ahead on Oak Street. Turn left on the corner of New Street. لما هنوصل the corner of New Street, we're going to turn left. And then, so we turn left. It's on the left opposite to the museum. So if we're talking about this place, where does he want to go? It's on the left. It's on the left, opposite to the museum. So he would like to go to the library. So we read the detailed description. So where is he going? خلينا نشوف the drawing here. See, this is how he goes straight, and then he turns left. So he goes to the library. If by this. أنا الدirection ممكن أستخدمه إن أنا أعرف الشخص رايح فين or I can describe to the person how he can arrive to a place. بكده نبقى إحنا اتكلمنا النهاردة على ال idioms بتاعتنا وأهم ال idioms that are connected to places and we have also talked about the famous places in my town and the most important places that we can find in any town. We've talked about directions as well and we saw two important ideas, which is if I would like to ask the, uh, or answer the question of where, or if I would like to answer the question of how do I get to. So 
using only landmarks or important places, I can say where, and using detailed description, I can say how do I get to. We've looked at a map and we saw how we can describe places on the map. We've looked at using prepositions and how we can use them to help me give directions. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.